Hi there. In this video, we're going to be talking about topic 5.11, catalysis. So in, when we talk about catalysis, we're talking about substances that act as catalysts. And what is a catalyst? Well, a catalyst speeds a reaction up. And so in order to speed a reaction up, you've got to do something to cause the reactants to, to react faster. One way to do that is maybe a catalyst causes uh, the reactants to have more collisions. Um, that is one way that a catalyst could work. Another way a catalyst could work is lowering the activation energy. In other words, it provides some pathway where the activation energy is lower using the catalyst than without using the catalyst. So we're going to just look at an example here and try to figure out what is the catalyst in this reaction and um, how did it lower uh, or how did it speed this reaction up. So we've got a reaction that we're interested in. Ozone reacting with free oxygen in the atmosphere to produce O2. This particular reaction as written is actually not a very fast reaction. It's difficult for this reaction to occur. Um, there's not a lot of free oxygens in the atmosphere and uh, ozone, there is ozone in the atmosphere, but again, for them to collide is gonna be a, a slow process. So let's look at an energy diagram for this process. This is an exothermic reaction. And so it's going to look something like this. High activation energy. Products are going to be on the right. We've got our enthalpy change here. We've got our reaction progress down here. And it's exothermic. and went from high energy to low energy. So again, this high activation energy is why this reaction is a slow reaction. But we can catalyze this reaction. We can make this reaction go faster by adding a certain catalyst. And so this is a mechanism for the catalyst reaction that's, that speeds this reaction up. So the reaction mechanism says that we have a slow step and a fast step, so it happens in two steps. And what we wanna do is find out where is the catalyst in these steps. Now, an important point about catalysts is catalysts speed reactions up, but they are not actually consumed in the reaction. And what that means is that whatever you start with, with your catalyst, you end with with your catalyst. If you start with two moles of catalyst, you end with two moles of catalyst. It's not a reactant. It's not consumed in the reaction. So let's look at our reaction here and see, do you see anything that we start with as a reactant and we end with as a final product? I do. If you look right here, NO is a reactant right here. But then NO is also a product in the final step of the reaction. And so we have NO as a reactant, but we also have NO as a product. And so notice that it is not in the overall reaction because if we add these up, the NOs cancel out because they're a reactant and a product. But if you have a substance that is both consumed and produced overall in the reaction, that's a catalyst. So NO in this particular example, is our catalyst because it is both reacted and produced. Notice it does disappear. You know, it doesn't appear here, but then after another reaction, it reappears. So it's not the same NO molecule. It's a new NO molecule um, that got rearranged in the process. Okay, so that's a catalyst. Now, this is really important. Don't get catalysts confused with intermediates. I'm gonna go ahead and change my pin color to a different color. Do you see anything in this reaction where we have a substance that's produced in the middle of the reaction, but then reconsumed as the reaction goes along? Hopefully you see NO2 right here being produced by the first reaction, but then it immediately gets used up in the second reaction and doesn't appear in our products. That's an intermediate. And intermediates, are substances that are produced in the middle of a reaction in the elementary steps, but then also consumed. So we didn't actually start with that intermediate, it was produced and consumed in the middle of the reaction. So be careful with that. Okay, so what is this energy diagram gonna look like with catalysis, with a catalyst introduced to the reaction? Remember, the overall reaction would be a slow reaction by itself because it has a high activation energy. So with the catalyst, what does it do to the activation energy? It lowers it. And so with the catalyst, we would end up with a lower activation energy because this pathway is faster 
than just the pathway for the reaction to occur on its own. So catalysts lower the activation energy of a reaction uh, in order to make the reaction go faster. So that's where I'm gonna stop on catalysis. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would encourage you, look at the topic list uh, when you're dealing with catalysts uh, in the AP curriculum because there are some other details that I'm not gonna cover because they're unlikely, uh, but you might wanna look at those just to make sure that you're prepared. So good luck.